previously on Splinter Cell Double Agent. Rise and shine, lover boy. What do I need to do? When you plant the bomb, note the detonation frequency. Enter that into the main server back at HQ so we can get our hands on it. I'm not on board, but I am hooked into their security systems. Remember, I need you to plant the bomb in the navigation room toward the prow of the ship. But the corridors are crawling with police, and you can't let yourself be seen. This one has to go right. Are you sure you want to do this? I don't exactly have a choice here, Sam. If this doesn't work, Emil's gonna blame me, and that tends to be fatal. Remind me why we want to blow up this ship. Emil wants to test the device. Don't worry, it's a test. No more. That doesn't strike me as Emil's style. The boat is nearly empty, Sam. It's just a couple of Coast Guards and a few tourists. It's a small liability. You ever armed a bomb? Once or twice. I'm done. Nice work, Sam. You've got an exit route through the side door. I'll see you soon. Whatever you were doing, what exactly were you doing, Sam? Don't get paranoid. We just planted a bomb. Paranoid is appropriate. So far, so good, Sam. The bomb is in place, and you're in one piece. And that's about all I could ask for. Come on back home. Emil's gonna want an audience for when he detonates it. And it had better go off. If it doesn't, he's going to be looking for someone to blame, and we're the obvious targets. Where's the emergency lighting? Someone get to the generator and put it back online. God damn it! I want power restored in the next two minutes, you hear me? Working on it, sir. Well, work faster! Sorry about the blackout, but advise us some time to talk. What's up, Lambert? There's a little matter of a boat with a bomb. Since you caught the detonation frequency, you can use your watch to broadcast a jamming signal. Then you can go look in the surveillance room to see if Emil's got another one on site. That should be easy enough. It will be once you upload the fingerprint scanning app I'm sending you. That'll get you through the lock. Got it. You'd better get it. It's not just us on the line anymore. There you are, Fisher. Come on. I can use your particular talents. What do you want me to do? Some decryption work. After our pilot problems in Shanghai, I'm a little suspicious of our partners. Particularly when I'll be meeting with them in Kinshasa shortly. Why? Why me? To discuss next steps. After we deal with the floating monument to excess you see on screen there. Why would they want to kill me? Ideology. We're dedicated to tearing down a corrupt government. They're a bit more... fanatical. I see. Don't worry about it. Just crack the encryption on the email on this computer. I'll be back shortly, and you can tell me if they're trying to kill me or not. How's it going, everybody? It's Snotrag, and we have more Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Double Agent on the Xbox Series S. And now we have the fingerprint scanner. This is a very, very tough mission, and out of all the times that I've had to do it, it's giving me headaches. But here to solve the puzzle, you're gonna wanna do exactly what I do. You're gonna wanna hit the low numbers first and then the high numbers second. And then after that, it's just plug and play and you're gonna wanna hit the left bumper to rotate the cube to its right. 
So that's all this is, just plug it and play. And once you enter those first couple of numbers on the first side, and the rest is just that easy. And then after we get all the sides here, you're gonna wanna rotate the cube. Just do exactly as I do. You can uh, pause the video or whatever you guys need to do in order to figure this out. But it's actually pretty straightforward once you uh, input the first codes on the first side that we got. And here I'm jumping the gun a little bit. And ta-da! That's it. Pretty easy. It annoyed the hell out of me back in the day and everything like that, but I was able to knock it all out. Alright, so we did that for a meal. Now it's time to get into the meat and potatoes of this level, where we have to break in and record to see if they are indeed making a bomb, and there's a whole bunch of other stuff that we have to do as well, like getting all the profiles and everything like that as well. Very, very tough mission, and I'm going to show you guys exactly what to do. It's taken me a considerable amount of times to do this mission, but I got it. And uh, we're going to be nice and stealth-like, silky smooth. Alright, so all we're going to do is just wait for Enrique to go to her office. If we go too soon to the door, and it's mostly because I, I solved the puzzle in record time. Uh, normally, she wouldn't be here for a lot of people that, <clears throat> that end up playing... Uh, for the first time it'll take them a while and everything like that but yeah we're gonna wait for her to go to her office but in the meantime guys thank you all so much for liking and supporting the channel i do appreciate it please guys if you do like what you're watching and you like the content that i am i guess creating and posting on youtube for you guys to enjoy please like and subscribe it helps out a lot and it motivates me to keep going so up first, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to break into Enrique's office. And from my last playthrough, we got her door code. So we actually have the code for her door. For those that don't know it, it's 1337. Now, her AI in this is really ridiculous. Like, this is, like, one of the hardest parts in this mission. The reason why, I feel like, is because... They wanted her AI to convey emotion because she's under a lot of stress if the bomb is going to go off or not. That's why she's very fidgety. So yeah, I can kind of see why uh, her AI is like that, but I don't know. I, I really don't buy it, but it's just janky AI. But so we're just going to move slow, very, very slow because her AI is super sensitive right now. She's got sonar hearing, and it's just absolutely nuts. Now, the computer is what we gotta hack here, but the first thing that we gotta do, as soon as we get over here, is get under the desk, because we don't have time to hack in there without getting caught. How's the detonator looking? Because Jamie's gonna give her a buzz, and then she's gonna come pacing over here. There won't be any screw-ups. The detonator is in place and working perfectly. You sure about that? Positive. Unless we shut it down, there's no way to stop it, and I don't think Emil's about to transmit the stop code on its frequency. If he does, he can't blame you. Oh, he'll find a way. Trust me. Alright. And plus, she's doing that so that way we can get her fingerprints. Because that's the other thing that we gotta do. We gotta get all the fingerprints of the JBA. We're gonna be doing that today. So as soon as she goes and starts moving, that's when we can emerge out of the desk. And then we can go right back to work on the computer. And then after we're done with the computer, here's what we're gonna do. First, we're gonna need to hack this. We're gonna need to do this quick because we don't have a lot of time and she likes to move. Ooh, lucky 007. Alright, so there's the detonation frequency. That's the emergency disarm code. And right here, surveillance room code. Oh, look at that. 1269 is the surveillance room code. Alright. So we got all that. Now we're going to kind of turn this little PC off. We're going to turn it off so that we have a little more shadows for what we're about to do next. But we're going to get back under the desk because look at that. Look. 
Look at how... Look, that's how fidgety the AI is in this game, and it, it made this mission very, very tough. And for me, she just kind of did like a short pace, and she likes to go back. I, I don't know if it's going to be like this for all you guys. But yeah, we got her fingerprints to move slow. We don't need to go through her filing cabinet because we got all the files from my other videos. And let's just wait right here for a second, just in case she wants to get up and move again, which she probably will. Yep, there she goes. Yikes. Alright, and then she's going to sit back down, and that's when we can go. Move so slow. Lightly push the stick. Any faster, she's going to hear you get up, spot you. Not good. Lightly, lightly, lightly. Oh, silky smooth snot rag. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just the way we like it. All right, next, uh, it's going to be pretty straightforward. There's going to be some people that we're going to sneak around, and we're going to need to go back to Dayton and Jamie's room uh, because their fingerprints are also going to be on the filing cabinet, so we're going to need to make sure that we grab that. Up here, we're going to want to turn the light off. And then we're going to open this door and just wait by the door right here because the guard will not see you. He's going to get up and go down the hallway, which is precisely what we want him to do. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Yep, we're moving, we're moving, we're moving, we're moving. Sheesh! You see what I mean by unpredictability? What in the actual ass? Okay. This is live commentary, by the way, guys. So I am literally just uh, flying at the seat of my pants right now. I was not expecting that to happen. Normally, you shouldn't see that. That's odd. Alright, so next, we're going to climb over here. What's that? What? How do you hear that? Oh, oh, we got a hidey spot. Ooh! I didn't know this was here. <laughs> Alright, hold up, hold up. We might not be in trouble. I had no idea this was here. Okay. <laughs> Alright, well, he sees nothing. Come on, move, you bastard. We're on a timer here. Dude, seriously, move. There's nothing there. You pissed me off. Let's go. Thank you. Jesus. Alright, uh, let's, uh, let's, let's try that again, shall we? Okay, you know what? Screw it. I had no idea this pipe was here. Alright, so now we're just gonna jump down here. Okay, we're, Sam really likes the pipe. Alright, we're gonna go into this little billard's room. Because there's plenty of shadow here, and we won't really have to worry about these guys. Now, as soon as they're gone, we're gonna need to get into Dayton's office. Uh, now, he's gonna have a radio call where... Emil's gonna call him, and he's gonna leave the room. That's gonna give us a couple of minutes exactly to grab what we need. The fingerprints on both of their filing cabinets, hide, wait for him to come back, he's gonna go fall asleep, and then we can go. Very, very straightforward. So as soon as these guys move, we should be good to go. Now sometimes up ahead here at this door, he will see you open the door, so we gotta be very careful, so we're gonna open it nice and stealthy. Tell me again. Oh again. shit! They ain't no way. They ain't no way. He just what? All right, emergency, emergency. Okay. Luckily, there's this little filing cabinet or locker here. Okay, see, there you go. That that goes to show that nothing goes according to plan. Okay, so this is going to be different. Okay, because we interrupted him and uh, Emil's uh, radio call, uh, this is going to be completely different. We also got to be careful of these two guys that are around here as well. Okay. All right, so he's going to go into the room, so that's going to be good. Now, what he likes to do, I guess, as soon as he comes back into the room, if he does get called away, if you don't do what I did just there, uh, he'll sit on Jamie's bed for a bit. And you could hide in either the wall locker that I'm in right now, or you can hide under the beds when he comes back in here, but you're going to want to get the fingerprints uh, quickly if you do actually uh, get him to leave the room, unlike what I just did. 
You're gonna want to get the fingerprints quickly and then hide. But what he does here, I don't know why, he sits on Jamie's bed for a bit. And then he should go to his bed and sleep. Or not. Okay, yeah, he's coming here. Alright, great. <sighs> okay, and he's having coffee. Because, sure, why not? It's not like we got anywhere to be in 14 minutes and 34 seconds. Dayton! Oh, God. Y you see? Th this is what happens. It's unpredictability. Alright, let's see what you do now. And you're just gonna wash your face. Okay. I was kind of hoping you would go back into the bed. Okay, here we go. This is good news. This is good news. This is good news. Alright, yes! Alright. Now, what I've also learned is sometimes I was not able to get them in time. And then he comes back into the room and then I hide. But I have been able to get them so first what we're gonna do in the event that this happens like it happened to me we're gonna go get Jamie's first because we're in the dark he won't be able to see us unless he wakes up now in the event that this does see like it's, it's really finicky to get this and this happened in my last play session and he came in here and I almost got caught but I found out that if he does fall asleep like this you just gotta move slow, otherwise he will hear you. Now, when he flips like that, it looks like that he's awake, but he's not. So, but what I like to do, just in case, is I like for him to flip back over on his other side, and then slowly creep up there, and then get his fingerprint like that. Like, so we're just gonna go slowly. Very slow. Come on, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Come on. Okay. No! Sam! you all right okay, we're good now back up slowly look at that oh so silky smooth snot oh oh that yeah that uh that makes me feel good all right and don't forget we got these two goobers out here So we should be good. Uh, wait a minute. That guy's down that hall. What's he doing? Uh, this is the first time this has happened. Let's see. Okay, maybe we can... Okay, yeah. We're probably going to need to get in that little wall walker. So that way we can wait for him to move. Now, remember, I wasn't able to grab Carson's voice. So if you guys get up to this point and you're about to go through the door... Oh, he was smoking a cigarette. Okay. Ooh. We got there just in time. Look at that. Oh, silky smooth snot rag. Okay, as I was saying. <laughs> so, we're going to make sure that we have our laser mic equipped when we go in here. So that way we can grab Carson's voice. But you're going to want to move slow. Because he will hear you if you're not slow enough. What do you think Very careful. Going, we're going to mosey on over here so that way we're in the dark. He won't be able to see us. To make sure things run smoothly. And we're going to go back. Oh, and they're wait a calling minute. you? Uh, that's you no. Know, that, okay, yeah, yeah. I was about to say that's the, your attitude. that's the sound emitter. That's I've not done working. hard time for the cause. What have you done besides shoot your mouth off? I've done what Emil needed me to do, and I was smart right, enough to stay him. out of jail in the process. That's because they can't arrest you for being a jackass. But they caught you for being a dumbass. See you later, Washington. Alright, now we're going to need to be very careful here because he's got very good hearing. Do not go to his door immediately. That's his little room to the right of us. We're going to go there so that we can get his file and his fingerprints. But if we were to go there right now, by the time he gets over to the side of the door where he's going, he would see us and we're screwed. So we're just going to wait for him to go into the room and then we're good to go. I know that we're rushing on We got a little bit of time, but we'll definitely see if we can make it. We should be okay all right so now we're gonna go in here we're gonna open up this door but as soon as we get in here we're immediately gonna make a beeline for his wall locker that's in his room and hide because he just magically teleports and he'll come into this room it's it's literally video game magic how quickly he comes here so just get in here immediately see look at that shit look at that 
that's video game teleportation magic. Because he was just in that office literally two seconds ago. And yet he just somehow face, shi face shifts all the way over here in record speed. I'm mad jealous. I wish I could do that to get to work. <laughs> Alright. Oh. What is he doing in here? Something about that guy. Oh, that's enough for now. There's something about that guy. What are you talking about? It says, and this is coming from a man who you allowed to come into your room and watch you hit a punching bag all creepy like. But he's not wrong. You know, there is something wrong with us. Alright. <laughs> so now we're going to get his fingerprints. And then we're going to grab his file. And then we're going to go back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to save my game here. Because too many times I've gotten this far. And I've gotten caught. Because there's no checkpoints all the way where we're at right now. If you mess up and reload the checkpoint. You're going to be right back to where we're going to have to do the cube puzzle all over again. So I highly encourage you to save here. In fact, I'm going to do that right now. Alright, now we're all saved. So, what I found out is the easiest route in all my other playthroughs of me doing this is to come through this meeting. I don't know why, but there's another way that you can get in and jump over stuff, but the guard that's in there will hear you, and you're screwed. It doesn't matter how fast you try to get up there, he'll spot you, you're donezo. But for some reason, I don't know why, he will not see you if you walk slow and you go exactly this way. I don't, I don't get it. So he has super hearing, but he's blind. I, I don't understand that. So, go the route that I just took. That is the guaranteed way to get in here. Alright, well... Oh shit, I forgot the code. Where's the code? We should have it. This is a surveillance room. Alright, fuck it. We're gonna have to hack it. Well, that's different. I, I could have sworn that we had the code. Any troubles with the equipment? Nothing worth mentioning. Pretty damn boring on monitor. Well, I'll just pray it stays that way, Todd Hunter. On the off chance that something exciting does show up, I'll be in my office. Got you, Chief. All right. Wait for him to go into his office. And as soon as he does that, that guard's going to move there, and he's going to stay there for a little bit. Walk slow. But we're going to get in here first, just that way we have a little bit of cover and concealment, because sometimes Moss will see you from his office window. We're just going to wait. Real quick, he's gonna go sip his coffee. This should give us plenty of time. To hack this computer and then go back into that corner. Nice. Alright. Yep. Security feed of them making a the bomb. There it is. Alright. Move slow. Get back into our little cubby hole here. Let's see. Looks like Moss is still drinking coffee, and that guy's still going to be there for a bit, but there's another guy in this room as well that we're going to need to be very careful of. We're going to need to go into Moss's office, that way we can get his files. There's a couple of things that we will also need. So let's get on out of here, move slow. Very slow. Very, very slow, like a tortoise fucking. <laughs> Did I just say that? <laughs> Alright. Here we go. Oh, there's a checkpoint. Uh, okay, well, shit. I didn't know there was a checkpoint there. Okay, oop, alright, oof. Alright, Moss. We are cutting it close on time, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, his file cabinet is back over there. And there's also a computer that we're going to need to get into as well. Okay. 
very silky smooth. Nice. Okay. And well, we're in the dark. Maybe he won't be able to see us do this. Yep, yeah, screw it. We're gonna go for it. And then we're gonna. Oh, oh. Can we get it? Can we get it? Can we get it? Right. So. Uh, yep. All right. So this is a safe spot. But I'm not so sure if uh, we're gonna be in the dark when we have to go for that computer. So we're gonna wait for him to go back and do his thing, whatever he's looking for. Okay. All right. Yeah. We're in the dark. All right. So we're in the green. So we got plenty of time to do this. All right. Office key code. Just grab it. Ooh. Look at that. Pretty fast. All right. Okay, we got it. All right. Now, let's get on out of here. Nice and stealthy. And silky smooth. All right, now by the time we did all this, there's gonna be the other guard that was in this room earlier. He's gonna be up moving around. And where we have to go where he was earlier, that's how we get out of here quick. Because I can tell you right now, if we were to go all the way back to where we originally came, we would not make it in time. So thankfully, Ubisoft got smart and added this little shortcut. Just go smooth. You see that window right there? That's where we gotta go. And out we get. Get Sam, what are you doing? Get out. Go, 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 go. Nice. All right, well, not as silky smooth as I thought it was gonna be with that little exodus, but hey, we got it. Nice. All right, so that was, that was it, guys. We did all the objectives. And look at that, Emil's on his way. It was a pretty good time, too. Three minutes left, dude, oh my gosh. Wow, I finally did it. Oh my God, now I no longer have a headache, Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you. Yeah, let's take a look. Yeah, like I said, the fire range and everything will be there. Yeah, look at that. We got all the files we need. So like I said, the uh, fire range and everything will be there if we need it. Now we just gotta wait, but I'm gonna skip to this part, so that way we don't have to worry about that. So what does Masood have to say? All right. Aha, he's claiming innocence. Well, that's a relief. Now come on, it's time for the fireworks. Now you heard him, it's time for the fireworks. Everything working. Yes. Then you have nothing to worry about. Good. We're all here. Gentlemen, I give you the future. In three, two, one. It's not going off! Try it again. I did! It's not going off! We've been screwed! What are you talking about? Apparently, the bomb has been disabled. And since nobody knows about it except us, it's someone in here. There's only one person it could be. So, Enrico, my devil is why. I didn't! Emil, I swear, I didn't want to do it, but I would never... At least you held up your end of things, Fisher. Now get out of here, all of you. I need to think of how to explain this in Kinshasa. All right. Now I'll explain what I just did in just a second. So we got all this completed. That looks good. got all the files that we need on them that's good and uh, let's check to see what unlocks we got 
Okay, we got a frag grenade attachment and enhanced night vision. Okay, so we got the colored night vision now. Yes, look at that. 100%, ladies and gentlemen. Zeros across the board, just the way I like it. Now, I'm going to explain why I went with that decision. Because that decision of letting Enrica die, of framing her, is canon. That is the canon ending with version 1, and it is the canon ending with the Splinter Cell franchise. And also, because that option, we do not lose any trust with the JBA and the NSA. So those are two crucial reasons as to why I went with that option. And also, it was because I don't think Sam Fisher, regardless of how many people were on the boat, the Mexican Coast Guard included, would let that many people die just for a bomb demonstration. So yes, like I stated in part two or of mission one of the JBA, that I was going to be doing the cannon route of this game. So maybe this decision surprised you guys. Maybe it didn't. Who knows? But that's it, guys. That's going to be the end of it. Please, once again, if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and do subscribe. It will help me out with the channel. I do appreciate it. I'll see you guys on the next one. And as always, stay frosty.